This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by our newest, favoritest shower head of all time from Nebbia. We present the Quattro. I literally just used it. Smell me. Smell me right here. I, I, I don't want to. Very I'll clean. Say, I, uh, you smell like a successful Kickstarter beginning today. Click on the link below. Okay, here we go. Lean back in again. So first we experienced the mystical oracle known as Ouija. Ouija, it's only a game. Isn't it? Monopoly, it's a quick game. Is Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then we explored uh, idiomotor response with the little swinging pendulum. Just picture it moving in a circle now. <laughs> Is that amazing? <laughs> now oh we finally God. have supernatural expert Joe Diamond who claims he could put a spirit inside a bottle. Which makes me wonder, like, like, do you get wishes when you open it? Is it a genie? It's not a genie. I'm sorry, gin. Whatever. It's not, it, well, well, you can't okay. put gin in a bottle, but it won't grant you <laughs> those kinds of wishes. All right, All right. Uh, this guy gets good. it. I like yeah. it. <laughs> he belongs here. Yeah. All right, Joe Diamond, you're some kind of psychic entertainer or something. Brian pitched me on this. Explain to me what we're doing. Are, are we catching the ghost and like, headlock, yeah. naked choke? Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you. Wait, whoa. You, you're gonna find it remarkably empty. That's why I'm putting something in. Oh. <laughs> cool. And that's how we'll do it. I'll never be lonely again. No. If I understand things correctly, uh, we've talked a bit about the idiomotor response, yes. about how there are small micromuscular movements that move in accordance with what you're thinking of, but you framed things in a way I had never heard of before. And, and, and I wanna tell you as little as possible, I just want you to perform because I think even if you do understand why something magical is happening, you'll still find it very magical. But possession, that's on the table? Uh, there's like a 60-40 chance of possession. I'm down with it, honestly. Okay. Nine-tenths of the law. Where's the bottle? Where's we the ghost? We need to conjure it. Conjure it. All right. Conjure, conjure. Wait, I don't okay. know where now it is. Doing. Like, Hold on, here's what we do. We're gonna duck down, and through editing magic, the bottle will be there. Ready, go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ha ha! Wow. Digital magic! Easier than real magic! <laughs> yes. So in this rock here with this build, you, you tell sure. a story as the, uh, as the presenter, as okay. the con artist. So this actually, <laughs> the conjurer artist. That's what I Thank meant. Thank you. Oh, was good save. save. He what was, a save. That's what I meant. He shortened it. He shortened it. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. It's okay. First you drink the spirits. Yes. Uh, this was actually goes as far back as the early 1800s. This actually predates uh, the spirit board, Ouija, all that kind of stuff. Only thing that I could find that goes further back than this is called the hat game, where they would take a gentleman's derby hat, put it on a table, and put their hands on it, uh, man on one side, woman on the other, and ask it yes or no questions. If it went towards the man, it meant yes, and if it went towards the woman, it meant no. So and this is a very popular party game. Feels a little bit like a combination of what we've learned before with the yes. pendulum and uh, table tipping, which if I remember mm -hmm. correctly, table tipping is sort of the idiomotor response writ large, yep. just on a, on a table, right? Exactly. Okay. So let's calm this down, and we are not gonna touch the bottle. We are actually just gonna place our hands flat on the table. Go ahead. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes. No, no jokes. jokes. No jokes. No jokes. It seems like there should be jokes. Look, we already yeah. got Joe. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Exactly. So at this point, we say, you know, spirits of modern rogue world headquarters, please oh, show us. Way. Oh, yes. yeah. that was the right Hang thing on. to say. Hang on. Oh my God. First it's of already... all, it's doing yes. It's going forward and, you can and backward. Feel we're also, not moving the table. You know, this is like legit the closest there's... thing to haunted property. Joe, there's some there's some stuff that went on here. We uh, should talk about this spirits? before we. Please show us no. And you'll notice. Don't you it dare. It starts opening up into a circle. And it's now calibrated. You now may ask the spirits of the property any yes or no questions. Oh my God, okay, all right. Like. I know this is not the big seance that we promised, but like there is, there are stories that we have not yet shared about this property that we're okay. really looking forward to telling at some point, but there's some messed up stuff that happened. Brian um, has a secret pooping place in the woods. Does Brian have a secret uh, pooping place in the woods? It's not a secret. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that yeah, says that's no. Saying no. Spirits that's no. of the property, did naked people once frolic about in these very seven acres? 
You'll notice, even though it was going in a pretty wide circle a split second ago, it is <laughs> focusing up into a straight line. This, this seriously was a news colony back in the day. Okay, so circle is no. Circle yep. is no. Back and forth, straight, straight line, line is, is yes. yes. <clears throat> yep. Spirits of the property, are we close to a lion's den? Yeah, the zoo's right over there. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> see? Okay. I, I thought you were talking about us, too. No. But okay. That's how I know. That's how I okay. believe the uh, spirits. Okay. Ancient spirits of evil. Will Transform we... your decayed form <laughs> into Oh, uh, that's what it is. Yeah, sorry. That was the Yeah, that's... Will we get Half-Life 3 ever? Oh no! You son of a bitch! No. I hate these spirits. No, it's fine. It's fine. We, we got, don't we, be mad at we, me. Be mad at Alex. the spirits. I, I, just give me Alex too. I'm happy. All right. Ancient spirits of the property. Can we expect better internet in the future? Mm, it's folks. There it goes. There's a straight well, line. Yes. Dot. 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 On a long enough timeline. Spirits. How many months until better internet? Well, how How's would you count? Two, three, four, five, I, six, <laughs> six months till better internet. Six months till better internet, okay. Spirits of the property, within six months, will we share an epic tale involving the devil on this property? I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm kind of like, Brian, is there a devil? There yes. is a yes. devil thing coming up. Yes. I wasn't. Yes, there is. There is a devil thing. Okay, cool. <sighs> uh, uh, is he here yeah. already? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I, I'm already blown away. <laughs> do we want to keep asking? Or do no, no, wanna... no. Now, now, now I want to ask questions specifically about you. Uh, um, oh, uh, that's I, great. <clears throat> Spirits, has Jason Murphy completed The Last of Us Part Two yet? You mother f <laughs> You're a piece of That is not true at all. I have definitely finished The Last of Us 2. I finished it before you did. That's not true. That oh, I got you're it. right. That isn't true. Wait, <laughs> have, you, have you really there not you finished go. it? No, I finished it. I finished it. It's a, it's a liar. It's a damn liar. Okay. You're a damn liar. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> you and your friend, this <laughs> spirit. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming that we're experiencing the exact same thing that happens during a Ouija board, yes. which is some kind of consensus is happening with the idiomotor yes. response, right? Yes, How does absolutely. all this work? It is basically going through us, through the table, and the bottle itself, like if you move the bottle, you'll see it, it moves the chain. No. Like, yes, this is a pretty small, you know, decent table, but it's not the, the most sturdy. Well, that said, we got this working on the oak table uh, up at World Headquarters. It, it worked on every yes. single table we yes. did, and I do feel like we should kind of reveal like, part, of, part of the reason this table is so good is once you remove the cloak, like, uh, first of all, look how top heavy it is. Yeah. And, and look how it's not even at all. Yeah. So, so even the slightest thing, here, let's, let's all think circle. None and of us not, are consciously yeah. doing and, anything. And you'll notice, uh, Jason and I just have our fingertips on it, too. So yeah. So it is, it does not take much. Now that said, I have gotten these to work on giant oak tables on bars. You need more people, of course, uh, but even something that is theoretically solid bolted to the ground, it will eventually still work with. How many people have you used uh, with this at one time? Uh, usually about four per bottle. And the most I ever did on one table is a long dinner table. And we had four people at one end, four in the middle, and four at the other end. And each had their own bottle. And even though it was all on the same surface, everyone's pendulums were going at different rates and in different directions and tapping out different stuff. It was it was pretty awesome. I'd see this is an excellent party trick because yes. it's really easy. You can easily set the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also use it to, if you were very enterprising, to fleece people out of money. Sure, if you wanted to, but Just even saying. then, but even then, as you've seen, without any tricks, wires, magnets, anything, 
You don't need any of it. Yeah. You just tell a good story, put this down at like a bonfire or a Halloween party, and people will go to town. As far as creepy party trick go, a lot of the reason that this is effective in building spookiness mm -hmm. in a group is it requires a lot of quiet and patient waiting mm -hmm. that allows the tension to build. Same with Bloody Mary, same with the Ouija. You Absolutely. do something, everyone is quiet and still, and they're all focused. And that just builds this bubble of mm -hmm. tension. This is, in my mind, the rarest and most precious of all gifts, a magic trick that fools yourself while you're doing it. In all sincerity, just as lightly as we can, yep. everybody think yes, forward and backwards. And now everybody thinks no. Yeah, we think just have no. our fingertips on it. Like, think no. Barely. Barely. It's it so unreal. So, so <laughs> That's it's crazy. It's so, so unreal. Let, you want to try one more bonus thing I yes. didn't tell you about yet? What? What? Uh, take off your cloak. What? Take off your cloak. Okay. We're going to switch spots. You come here. Yes. All yes. Right. This is where it gets cool. Step behind Brian, put your hands on his shoulders. No. Brian, just close your eyes and put your hands on the I don't table. even have the so, visual feedback keep, so, of knowing. Jason, do you want to go this way or this way? Just make the hand direction. Um, okay, yeah, put your hands way. down and focus. And just, Brian, don't, don't think of anything in particular. And uh, it is only one person, so it is gonna take a little while, but you will notice after a while, see there it goes, round. It was going in a straight line before, but it's going round and round and round. That's wild. And Brian, you can open your eyes. You can You're see it is going in a circle. He went like oh this before. Oh my God. It works through people. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so, so good. It, it's honestly, here's, here's the next reveal though. It's the chip in my hand there, that oh, communicates. Don't you dare, don't you dare <laughs> with your technology. <laughs> all right, where can we follow all of your stuff? Uh, JoeDiamondLive.com. Oh, that's it's so, so cool. <laughs> Oh, that was magical, just, just like two fingers. Yep. Introducing the Nebbia by Moen Quattro Showerhead. Quattro launches on Kickstarter today and that, begins shipping to... It's a little, it's a little toasty. You well, I mean, I mean? That, they gotta feel like sexy and fresh and clean. Do, do you have an idea on how to convey how awesome this is? Like yeah. if we're gonna sexy it up, let's sexy it up. We gotta, we gotta do that. It's shower time. You're not. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Buckle up. Quattro launches on Kickstarter today and begins shipping in September 2021. Quattro, its most affordable water saving shower head yet. Quattro is the most luxurious, functional, and water efficient shower head in the world and starts at $99 when pre ordered via Kickstarter. For the first time, Nebbia is offering four spray modes, including two powerful high pressure energy modules. I made that part up. <laughs> The new model also features the brand's easiest installation yet, a one to two minute process that's as easy as changing a light bulb. Available is either a fixed rain shower or hand shower version made with recycled ocean plastic and serves 40 to 50% more water than a traditional shower. Quattro is available for pre-order now in chrome, matte black, brushed nickel, and brushed gold, also oil-rubbed bronze, starting at $99 on Kickstarter. By the way, will retail for $129. Kickstarter backers can also purchase the new Quick Dry Earth Mat for $55, retailing for $69, nice. A stylish bath mat made from the diatomaceous earth that rapidly absorbs water so you don't need to wash it. Click the link below to pre-order your Quattro today. Bravo. Did I get the gig? Bravo. You are hired, sir. Offer and link in the description below. <laughs> haunt your dreams. Like a I, if I Midwest had, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Midwest Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger's already in the, from in the, the Midwest. Midwest, right? <laughs>